With Facebook always changing its settings, it can be hard to keep track of who's seeing what on your profile. I'm Dan Graziano, and in this how-to, I'm going to show you how to tighten up your Facebook settings to ensure that your information isn't available to just anyone. Venture over to your Facebook page, click on the down arrow at the top right-hand corner of your screen, select Settings, and then Privacy. First, we're going to change who can see your post. I prefer to only share my status updates with my friends, but in the Who Can See My Future Post section, you can choose to share them with the public, your friends, only yourself, a custom list of people, or a specific group. However, this setting only changes the visibility of your future post. You can individually change your older posts by clicking on the activity log, which will show you all the updates you've posted, liked, or commented on. To automatically change all of your old posts to only be visible to your friends, click on the Limit Past Post Options, followed by the Limit Old Post button. If you would like a single status update to be visible to a different group of people, click on the drop-down menu next to the Post button when writing a new status. Next up, let's change who can contact you. By default, Facebook allows anyone to send you a friend request and messages. In the Privacy settings, you will find an option to allow only friends of friends to send your request, and change your inbox to strict filtering, which will limit your inbox messages to only those from your friends. In addition to changing who can look you up using your email address or phone number, two things that are also found in the privacy settings, the last thing you will want to change is preventing search engines like Google and Bing from linking to your profile. In the privacy settings, simply click on the edit button next to where it reads, do you want other search engines to link to your timeline and make sure the let other search engines link to your timeline box is unchecked. For more how-tos like this one, be sure to visit howto.cnet.com. You can also reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.